Good afternoon and welcome, dear family, valued friends, and all the loved ones gathered here on this picturesque California day. Thank you for joining us at the lovely Gardner Ranch in Carmel Valley for the marriage ceremony of Aaron O'Connell and Ray Dolan. It's a tunnel kind of vision Like alcohol's involved And I'll stray like a hound dog But I'ma come back when she calls When she calls I'll come to her When she calls I'll come to her I had a dream I had a dream last night Aaron and Marie, it's not a coincidence that you two have folks here from so many different stages of your lives. Everywhere you've gone, you've gained admirers, as individuals and in tandem. And today is a manifestation of the tremendous love and support your people, these people, hold for you. I owe it all to you, I do. So we've all had the pleasure of meeting Maraid. To put it very bluntly, she's a badass, right? She's, you know, clerked for the Colorado Supreme Court, worked for one of the most prestigious law firms in the country. But I think the thing that I'm the most appreciative of, Aaron's closest friends and family are the most appreciative of, is how she pushes him every day to be better. Um, and in turn, he pushes her, and they have grown so much individually and as a couple. I've given it a lot, and I think from the bottom of my heart, uh, genuinely, Aaron's compulsive need to achieve some sort of confessional catharsis on a regular basis, professing his love or his concerns or his fascinations and fixations. This is a singular best quality as a person. And uh, honestly, Maraid's ability to receive these bits of emotional fancy with level-headed poise is honestly one of hers, at least in the brief time that I've been fortunate enough to know her. So. Uh, as a person, Maraid's the perfect mix of contradictions. <laughs> Equal parts driven yet laid back, soft yet strong, worldly yet Denver, <laughs> and can operate independently and also as a unit. This lends to how she is as a partner. She knows where her strengths lie, and while she'll never admit it, she knows where Aaron can fill any gaps. She's not with Aaron because she relies on someone, rather she's with Aaron because he enhances all of the qualities that make her so great. And the same can be said for Aaron. There's a huge level of trust and understanding that comes from this level of autonomy. Marine has always been impossible to argue with because of her wit, sharp tongue, and sheer intelligence. That is, until Aaron came along. He's just smart enough, just stubborn enough, and just dumb enough to take her on an argument every time. <laughs> we knew it was meant to be the moment he wasn't faced. <laughs> Aaron Marie, you may now seal your marriage with a kiss. Aaron, when you came to us for our blessing, it was a no-brainer. I, you didn't have to ask permission. We loved you from the minute, the minute we met you. But you did it anyway. It, again, it wasn't necessary because all we needed to know was that Maraid chose you. I remember her coming home and saying, Mom, I met somebody. I, I've never seen her like that. So I knew you were special from the day I heard your name. I want you to know what it's like to get a call from your daughter and see Maraid, or these two, how we melt just seeing your name on her phone, how we melt even more when I hear, hi, Daddy. I am sure these two will do just great, for they have found their perfect mate. Thinking of all the words that were said, we wish you the best of your journey ahead. Hemlock, Hemlock.